now let's talk about retention. So first, let's talk about user-based businesses. So these are businesses where the goal is to get people to users to sign up and use it. So um, social networks and you know any user-based business. So you have the Dow Mao ratio, and then you have power user curve. So daily act active users is what we call Dow, and monthly active users is we what we call Mao. And so you're basically saying there's 136 people that use our product every single day, but on a monthly basis, 912 people use it. So that means that effectively, you know, there's 776 people that don't use it every day. And so you basically say, what's the Dow Mao ratio? You say 15% of our users are using the product every single day. Okay, so that tells you that you do have a cohort of users who are liking the product and they're using it a lot. It doesn't give you that much precision in understanding your power users. And so in this case, we're always trying to figure out how many power users do you have. And why are power users important? Well, the people who use the product every day are going to drive all the monetization, whether that's ad impressions, whether that's um, signing up to pay for the product, et cetera. It's going to be the people that use the product every day, not the people that log in three times a month. And so you're trying to figure out how many power users do you have to figure out if you have a business. And so to really understand power users, the Dow Mao ratio, it's good, calculate it, but it falls a little short in, in telling you the story. So here's where you want to see something called um, power user curves, which are called sometimes smile curves. So here's a power user curve. So the underlying data looks like this. You basically say, OK, I have this one week of data. 40% of my users use my product one day in the week. 18% use two days per week, 9% use three, et cetera, et cetera. 6% use six days per week, and 14% use seven days per week. And you create this bar chart. And effectively, what you want to see is a smile. If you see a trailing to zero, and that the people that use it every day are 0%, well, that means you don't really have any power users. But if 14% of your users are logging in every day, this smile means that you do have a chunk of your users that are basically loving it, loving the product, they're finding it really valuable, really fun, whatever it is. And so the power user curve gives you a much better sense of, of sort of what is, what is the distribution of usage than just this one number. And if you want to get even more exact, this would be June 23rd week, uh, weekly active users. How, what does the usage look like? You can also look at it on a monthly basis, exact same data. You just say 19% of people used it once per month. You know, 1% used it 17 days per month, 7% of people used it 31 days per month, et cetera. And if your curve is not smiling, you shouldn't be smiling either. Um, because that means that you don't really have any power users. And so you want to call this is also called the smile curve because you want the curve to be smiling. 